The name giraffe comes from the Arabic word zirafa, which means the tallest of all, and they are undoubtedly the tallest of all mammals. It is a myth that giraffes are mute. They are just silent. They have vocal cords but rarely use them. They don't actually need them as they communicate with their eyes. Giraffes are the only animals born with horns, which can number up to five and get bonier with age. Not only are giraffes necks long, so are their legs, which also help place their head further away from the ground. A giraffe has an extremely strong heart, pumping at 170 times per minute, which is twice that of a human's. They are social animals, living in loosely associated groups or small herds. When walking, the two legs on the same side swing closer in sync than any other species. At the gallop, which is seldom faster than 56 kilometers per hour, the tail is twisted over the rump and the neck swings in unison in order to maintain balance. Drinking presents a whole new challenge. For most ungulates, it's a simple matter of lowering their head to the water and either sucking or lapping. But a giraffe must first get his head to the water. This involves spreading its legs precariously and lowering its body closer to the water. Once it gets its long neck to the water, not only does it have to get the water back up its neck into its body, but the giraffe must also prevent too much blood going down its neck into its brain, causing it to faint. In its long neck, that amazingly contains the same amount of vertebra as a human's, there are a series of one-way valves that regulate blood flow to its head. So when the head snaps back up, this and the pumping of the massive heart keeps blood flow constant. A giraffe has no tear ducts, but has been known to cry. Ticks and parasites are some of the many hazards of living in Africa. It's the job of the oxpecker to keep the giraffes relatively clean. The finer shoots of trees and shrubs are pulled into the mouth by curling their long tongue around them and pulling them in. Due to amazing phenomena called the whispering trees, giraffes have learnt that when browsing in a group, they must advance abreast rather than one behind the other. This is because on some acacia trees when browsing begins, the leaves turn sour, discouraging further browsing from behind. Giraffes have only two natural enemies, lions and humans, the latter being the more dangerous.